What is up everybody, hope you're having a great day. Now guys, I totally get it that there is a lot of frustration involved when you're trying to switch your mobile phone either from iOS to Android or from Android to iOS. The biggest challenge is of course to transfer the WhatsApp messages because there is no native feature inside of WhatsApp that allows you to transfer the messages between different operating systems. But big thanks to Tenorshare, now it's possible to do that with their iCare phone app. Now guys, for the sake of this video, I will be transferring my WhatsApp messages from my Android phone which is the Huawei GD3 to my iPhone 8 Plus but you can follow this video guide if you're interested in doing the opposite as well. And guys, I want to make sure one thing that this method is absolutely safe and that means none of your data is going to be leaked at all. Alright guys, opening up the very first link in the video description will take you to the iCare phone for WhatsApp transfer page. Now guys, this tool is capable of doing a lot more than just transferring the WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone or vice versa. With this tool, you can backup and restore your WhatsApp messages in just one click. You can also export your WhatsApp business data to HTML. You also get the option for backup and restore for other social media apps including Kik, Viber, Line and WeChat. What I love about this tool is the fact that with the help of it, you will be able to transfer all sorts of data that you may have on your WhatsApp including pictures, videos and documents. Now guys, Tenorshare also offers wide variety of other the tools which can help you solve different sort of problems that you may have on your mobile phone. With the For You Key tool, you can unlock locked iPhone screens. With Alt Data tool, you can recover your deleted data from either iPhone or Android. There are a lot more awesome tools as well which you guys can take a look at using the link provided in the video description. Alright, coming towards the topic of today's video, on the iCare phone page, tap on the Buy Now button. That's going to take you to today's page. Now, I'll recommend you going with the one month license as that's the cheapest one. And a big thanks to Tenorshare for giving me this promo code which you guys can use to get 30% off your purchase. Alright, once you purchase the subscription plan, you will get the credentials at your email address. Now go ahead, download the app and install it on your PC. Now guys, in this video, I will be transferring my WhatsApp messages from my Android phone that is the Huawei GT3 to my iPhone 8 Plus. Looking inside of the WhatsApp on my Android phone, you can see there is a lot going on over here, but don't let that fool you, these are just the groups in which I am added in. The chat that will be transferred is actually this one over here with iCare phone WhatsApp. Now inside of the chat, I have a good number of messages including pictures, videos, documents, and voice memos. All of this data is gonna be going over to my iPhone very soon. Coming over to my iPhone, I'm gonna start off from the very scratch. That being said, let me go ahead and delete my WhatsApp off of my iPhone. And just like that, all of my current WhatsApp stuff is gone. Now, I'll go over to the App Store and download the app again. Now, to begin with the process, open up the iCare phone app. Now, connect your Android phone first if that's your source device. Next up, you will have to enable USB debugging on your Android device. Now, for different Android phones, there are different ways of doing that. iCare Phone app will guide you on how to enable the developer options depending upon the device that you may have, through which you will be able to enable the USB debugging. After you are done doing that, now go ahead and connect your iPhone with your PC. Alright, once both of these devices are connected, you will get the pop-up telling you, by continuing with this process, the WhatsApp data that is present on your iPhone will be overwritten. Go ahead and tap on continue. Alright, now in this step, you have to create a backup of your WhatsApp data on your source device. And for that, get into settings, chats, and then tap on chat backup button. Now go ahead and tap on backup now button. And that's gonna create a backup of this WhatsApp on the local storage. Once the backup has been created, go on your PC and hit continue. Now the app will start retrieving the WhatsApp data off of the source device. This can take time depending upon the size of the data that you have on your phone. After that's done, in the next step, you will have to verify your WhatsApp backup account. After verification, 
version, the app will start generating the data that can be restored. In the step ahead, you have to turn off Find My iPhone option from your iPhone. So for that, go to your account, tap on Find My, and then tap on Find My iPhone and get it turned off from here. Finally, the restoring process will begin and this is going to take a little while, so you gotta be patient over here. After the restoring is over, you will have your WhatsApp data successfully transferred. As you can see on my iPhone, I gained finally what I was looking for. So yeah guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed watching it. If you have any queries, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all next time.